Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, July 29th to the 30th. Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Virgoians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions, the information can be found in the description box below. You will find the link to my Etsy shop. I'm going to get a channeled message for you here in just one moment, Virgo. I'm just going to grab some cards first to get this shoe on the road. All right, Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Virgo. Page of Wands, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, and the Lovers. Wow. What was at the bottom of the deck? Oh, okay. All right, let's get this message from Spirit and see what is up for you. Let yourself soar what you thought was possible beyond what you think is possible. My crown chakra is going nuts with that one. Anything else? Go forward in the knowing and belief of your dreams. Because they already exist, they're saying. They're already there for the taking. Okay. All right. Virgo. Queen of Cups. Now, you need to listen to your intuition. That's what I'm getting with this Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And that means connecting with your heart space. Now you have the Nine of Cups here. That is the Wish Fulfillment card. And this is across from the Ten of Pentacles. This is happiness. This is abundance. This is marriage, family, loyalty. And the lovers. You're very optimistic about love. You could be in a relationship now for some of you with a soulmate, with a twin. But your dreams are about to come true. Just be careful you're not getting in your own way. Tell me about the lovers. This person could be at a distance with the three of wands here. If you don't know this person yet, you will. Six of pentacles. <clears throat> Ooh, three of cups and eight of cups. You're going to have more than one offer here, Virgo. That's why the three and the lovers. You're going to have more than one offer and you're not, you're not going to want to be giving to two people because you've already been there and done that and been on the receiving end of being breadcrumbed, right? So you're going to walk away from one of these people and it's the one that you're not feeling a soul connection to, okay? Because three is one too many for you. So who is Virgo going to choose? I want to know something about this person. Who you're going to choose. Who is Virgo going to choose? The Knight of Pentacles. It could be an earth sign. Okay. The one who takes it slow. They just said. The one who takes their time. Because you can feel the solidity, the, the authenticity, the... Um, what's the word, Virgo? You can feel the authentic offer here. And you feel that it's actually going to become something. It's not just going to be this fly-by-night um, offer, right? Tell me about the Page of Wands. So you're pretty optimistic about this. Seven of Wands. Be careful about your defense mechanisms, okay? Be careful about 
needing to control I'm getting and see everything that's that's happening knowing everything that's happening yeah the nine of cups is clarified by the six of wands so your dreams are about to come true you will be seen by your soulmate here You're going to be victorious, and I'm feeling this in career as well. This could be a Leo. Seven of Swords. Don't run away from your dreams. And don't fool yourself into thinking your dreams can't come true. Two of Pentacles. See, this is what you don't want. You do not want to juggle two people. And that's why I feel you're going to choose over here. Don't run away from making this choice. Because that's just going to fuck things up, man. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to choose to work on one of these relationships. Again, we have Pentacles here for Earth Energy. The one that you choose could be somebody that you work with. One more time for the Seven of Swords. I don't like the Seven of Swords. Okay. King of Wands. So I feel that within these two offers that you're going to get, you're going to recognize one of these people is sort of player-esque. And that's the one that you're going to give up tell me about the ten of pentacles tell me about the ten of pentacles tell me tell me tell me knight of swords and the chariot cancer energy gemini libra aquarius energy there is abundance for you and it could be at a distance this happiness this is definitely you're choosing the one that's at a distance and you're going to communicate to this individual and they you that it's like that's it this is it it's you're gonna know Okay, so what's Virgo's advice here? Ten of Cups. Your advice is to feel this in your heart. Okay? This is what? This is emotional fulfillment. This is happiness. You've got the Ten of Cups here and you've got the Ten of Pentacles. This is the ultimate, right? The ultimate happiness. The rainbow. Right? So really know that this is possible and this is what they feel that it's like you feel is a bit too much like no that can't happen to me. Yes it can. You need to believe it before you achieve it. Belief is huge. Believe in yourself Virgo because it's within you that manifests what's on the outside so as long as you have that belief in yourself and that knowing that this is possible that nothing is impossible then it must manifest by law it must manifest advice there we have that queen of cups again open up your heart right the gateway to your intuition listening to that intuition listening to your heart that is number one and as you open your heart feel every single cup that's in this card feel it we also have the star card which is the card of aquarius and the other wish card you have both wish cards keep wishing because you're wishing your wishes are about to come true and keep healing if there's anything that you need to heal from okay anything that's coming up to the surface to be healed heal and be confident in the belief of your wishes in the not even belief knowing know it as if this is already here that's why they're saying feel it 
feel this energy, this Ten of Cups energy at the bottom of the deck. Two of Swords. Don't get stuck in this energy, they're saying. Libra energy. Don't block off that heart chakra. Listen to your intuition. Make sure you're seeing everything as far as these, as far as these two people are concerned. Okay, because one of them is sneaky. So you're not going to want to miss it. I do believe it's the King of uh, Wands here. Possible Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is the life of the party. This is the fun guy, right? But can sometimes be player asking. In this case, they are. So slow and steady wins the race here, Virgo, okay? All right, Virgo, I hope this helped. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. The information can be found in the description box below. You have yourself a great day, Virgo, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.